The Minnesota Highway Safety Research Center carried out a two-four-hour training for teenagers to supply them with real driving skills. We show kids how to control a skid. You know, a skid for a lot of people is a real panic situation. They start to lose control of the car and maybe they let go of the wheel or they turn the wheel too much or they look in the wrong direction, they look down in the ditch. Well, if you look in a place, that's where you're gonna go. So we teach the kids to look at where they want their car to go, keep that car, keep their eyes down range so that they can continue to steer and get back out of that skid. The uh, third exercise is a uh, off-road exercise where there are objects in the roadway that the student needs to steer around and then we purposely have them drive two wheels off into the gravel and bring the car back up onto the pavement in a safe manner. And we do some braking exercises. We teach them the difference between just stepping on the brake pedal real hard and easing into that brake pedal in a controlled manner and that we can actually stop the car in a more controlled way by easing into that brake rather than just stepping on the wheel as hard as you can. At the end we do a distracted driving exercise and this one for a lot of people is a real eye opener. We throw in the noise of the sirens and the flashing of the lights and then they have to speak on the radio and hold the radio with one hand while they're driving through the exercise at 30 miles per hour. Dawson talks about the reaction and evaluation of the students. Number one, they lose track of their speed. We'll tell them to come down at 30 miles an hour and we'll see people come down at 43 and 44 miles an hour. Well, they can't do it at that speed. And they know they can't do it at that speed, but they lose track of how fast they're going because they got the noise and they've got, they're trying to talk and think and they can't do it. Parents say they have more faith in their children after they have passed this course. I really feel so strongly that every single driver on the road should have this training and should be required to pass this course in order to get their driver's license. So driving and talking on the phone or texting is not good at all for the benefit of your own safety and we should all apply the rule of thumb as a driver, as an individual in society by not talking on the phone or texting while driving. Najafion, UTVS News.